I ain't never seen a smile as beautiful as yours. Where's the operator? I think you and me got a bad connection. The Godfather 2 is arguably one of the finest movies ever made. So it's unfortunate that the game of the same name doesn't even come close to doing it justice. Sure, you'll recognize some of the characters, and you get to experience a handful of pivotal movie moments from the perspective of a character who wasn't in them, but the similarities between this forgettable open-world action game and Coppola's masterpiece pretty much end there. Worse still, The Godfather 2 has clearly been released in an unfinished state, so you have to contend with all manner of bugs, incredibly stupid AI crew members, and inconsistent frame rates at the same time as rival families and the police. You should have seen it coming, Dominic. Much of your time in Godfather 2 is spent attacking and defending businesses so that you can control them and demand protection money from their owners. The businesses include everything from bakeries that are fronts for strip joints to construction sites and packing plants, but taking control of them always plays out in the same way, so it doesn't take long for the action to feel repetitive. You show up at a business with between one and three crew alongside you, you find a way in, you kill the guys defending it, and then you find the owner and rough them up until they agree to hand the business over to you. There are other things you can do, like disconnect the power to prevent reinforcements from being called in, or have one of your guys crack any safes that you find but there's really not much else to it. Businesses that you control earn you money, and if you control all of the businesses within a crime ring, you're rewarded with a perk for your crew, such as brass knuckles, bulletproof vests, or an armored car. Defending your businesses from attackers can keep you pretty busy early on, but as your family grows, you can delegate defensive duties to your subordinates from the Don's View map screen, and not give them a second thought. That's even less fun than chasing across town to fight in the same building that you've fought in five times already. These shitheads you're working for ain't worth your life. Let me control the action here, got it? One of the biggest problems in The Godfather 2 is the crew that you're saddled with. You get to recruit a total of seven soldiers for your family as you progress through the game, and they each specialize in different roles. Medics can heal you when you go down, safe crackers can pick locks, brawlers can kick down doors, and so on. For the most part, they perform these tasks with a minimum of fuss. The problem is that any time they're expected to walk from A to B, there's a good chance there's going to be some weirdness. Order your guys to follow you, and they might get lost. Walk through a doorway with them directly behind you, and you'll probably find them standing waiting for you on the other side. Worse still, they often have difficulty finding their way into cars that you're waiting for them to join you in. And they're even known to run in circles around each other at superhuman speeds on occasion. In short, they're an unpredictable bunch, and they can't be relied upon to do what they're told. Ah, punk's not worthy of digging a hole. The world of Godfather 2 is equally inconsistent, because rules that apply one moment rarely hold true the next. Sometimes you can vault over waist-high walls, but sometimes you don't have the option to. Your engineer can cut through certain fences in certain spots, but he can't do anything with identical oh, looking fences elsewhere. Me. Defeating all of the rival families in New York, Florida, and Cuba will likely take you around 12 hours. And though you're free to continue playing after that, there's really no incentive to do so because there are no enemies left. There's multiplayer support for up to 16 players, and it's kind of interesting that you can level up your crew in multiplayer and then take them back into the story mode, but none of the four multiplayer modes are much fun. The weapons aren't balanced, maps are too big, and the modes designed for characters who specialize in arson, safe cracking, and demolition award more points for killing enemies than they do for completing special objectives. The option for one player to join multiplayer games as the Don and play as a disembodied camera floating over the battlefield, giving advice and perks to teammates, is interesting in theory, but in practice, it's no fun to play as the Don whatsoever. The controls are unwieldy, you can only fly at a fixed altitude most of the time, and frankly, it's just more fun to run around wearing a bulletproof vest than it is to be the guy targeting the dispenser and handing them out to your buddies. You need a hand with something? If by help you mean murder, then yeah. It's a woman though. Questionable design choices aside, the real problem with The Godfather 2 is simply that every single aspect of it feels unfinished. The bugs that we encountered are far too numerous to list here, and while many of them can easily be dismissed as somewhat amusing, there were plenty that interfered with our progress in missions often by making them easier to complete than they should have been. The Godfather 2 has some interesting ideas and really should have been an offer that you wouldn't want to refuse. But as it stands, this is just an unfinished mess waiting to break your heart. Richie, get us some drinks.